Alright, welcome everybody. Welcome back to the Onshape Basic Training Series. Today we are going to draw ourselves a flagpole, so let's just get straight into it. Hope you've had a good day. Alright, no mucking around today. Top, sketch, top, hit P and two circles one at 30 whoops and one at 10 so both center point circles once you've done that hit tick let's extrude this big one out we want to go down uh, 20 millimeters That'll do, and then we want to bring the sketch back and extrude this middle one. We want to go up 350, and we want a second end position. Um, let's go up to face, and this face here. So we want to go from the very bottom to there, and then up 350. And this is all going to be one part. Alright, so you can see what we've done so far. Excellent. Alright, next step is we're going to draw on this little top face, so let's zoom in on that. By clicking on it, let's go sketch this top bit. We're going to draw another center point circle. We're going to bring it out. It's going to be 15. And then we're going to draw a line straight down from the top, straight through to the bottom. Make sure it's that dotted line so you know that it's going straight through and then we're going to come up here to the scissors click trim and get rid of half of our our circle once we've done that click tick revolve click on both the axis is this straight line that we draw and you can see that if I get my camera angle right that it's on here. Now we're going to make this a new part. Um, you'll see why in a second. Click new part. All right. So the different parts have different colors on shapes using contrast to tell us what's a different part. We're going to go down in part two and just turn it off for a second. Click the top and we're going to do another sketch on the top here. But this one is going to come out a fair way. All right. So the first thing that we'll do that I'll do is draw a construction line just straight out here something like that I think that's about 50 mil roughly and then we're going to draw a line so if I hold over the origin point and then come straight up you'll see that it's a 90 degree angle with that um, that top point and then we're just going to go parallel all the way around here. The length of this line is going to be 40. All right. And then we will draw another line. We'll come down here, go straight across, and we're just going to click there. We're not going to put a number on this line. Instead, we'll come up here and use uh, equals so we'll click this and then we'll click equals and then we'll click this whoops I think I clicked off equals this this there we go and we've got our two lines now let's join the dots here we actually want that to be three millimeters so if I dimension between the two lines and go three that's what I want, but I want it in the middle. So what I'm going to try and do is use this midpoint constraint. There we go. So I clicked on the line. So I clicked midpoint, clicked on the line, and then clicked the origin point. And you can see that it's in the middle now. If I went to dimension, or sorry, even if I just if I just click there and there, you can see parallel distance 1.5. So that's half a three. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to get a little bit fancy and draw some circles and some construction lines. 
So I've taken my inspiration for this flagpole from, you know those Lego flagpoles? Was it Medieval Lego or something like that? Um, where they kind of had that wavy bit in them to show that they were blowing in the wind. Um, so we're going to add that wavy bit in here. So I'm going to click on the bottom of this line, come straight down, that will be plenty. And then I'm going to put a point in. So I'm going to put a point on my line, um, just hit escape. And now I'm going to use a circle and I'm going to join between, between my point and this line here. And I'm going to call it 12, I think. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to call it 6. Sorry about that. Click on here. That's 6. So you'll see the point. The point is constrained by the distance, like the radius, because this point here is constrained. So that's basically what's happened. We're going to get another circle. We're going to join between here and here. That should be 12. Perfect. All right, now we're going to draw a construction line straight out. Yep, just like that. And we're going to put another point in. Okay, so with this flag, it's basically, it's going to run along here, come around, and then around again. So it might make sense when we finished it, but we're going to click here and click on the outside of the line. Mine is 7.7, .7, yours will be something different. I'm going to make it 6. So the distance between the point the center there, and then I'm going to draw another circle between there and there. So our circles are kind of overlapping each other. Time to draw a line, a construction line, and we're going to draw from this point here straight down. Um, grab our line. You can draw it from the bottom if you like. So they're both highlighted orange. So that's the point here. Yep, we're going to go straight out, but we're going to go 80. Hit escape. We're going to straight out with this line. I want to join these lines. Like I don't want to have one at 80 and the other one at 80. I actually want to have um, go equal this one with this one. Because then if I change one, they both go. If I did them both 80, they wouldn't. So that's why I've done that. And I want to close everything off by joining these two dots here. All right, fantastic. We've got a bit too much. So it's time to come up to the top and hit trim. If you can't see the scissors, it'll be one of these. Um, the shortcut key is M if you need it. I'm going to get rid of anything we don't need. So we don't need these ones. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need these ones in here. Um, we don't need this big one out here. Whoops. Now what have I done? I've gotten rid of one that I do need. So I just use Control Z to get it back. We need that little one in there. Press trim again. Get rid of that. Whoops, I need that one too. Oh dear. Third time's a charm. Get rid of these ones. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that. And it's starting hopefully to make a little bit more sense. So our flag's coming down. It sort of looks like it's blowing in the wind a little bit. Everything that's left is a construction line, so you leave those because they have the points on them and the point is what is referencing the circles. Click to tick. We're going to extrude. We're clicking our new wavy line that we've done. We're going to go depth of 40. I'm just going to isometric this just so I can see. So, And I want to go down too, so click this one here. And it's a new um, part. So you should have three parts here. So this one we'll call the pole. Uh, this one we'll call the top. Oh, actually, let's call it the cap. And this one here 
we'll call the flag. All right, I might get a little bit fancy with this bit. Um, we'll put our cap back on. So you can see it looks like a flag. I don't know if you remember those Lego flags. They had, you know, um, the bits on the end. So I'm going to try and draw that here. I've just clicked sketch and clicked on this face here, the end of the flag. And now I'm going to draw a construction line right down the middle from square to square. I'm going to grab a line that's not a construction line and draw it from the edge and join that in there. And what am I going to do here? I'm going to dimension between the point and the point. And let's just call it 40. Whoops. I forgot to press 0 again. 4, 0. There we go. Um, we'll go up here to fill it. But before, I'm not sure, let's just try it and see if it'll work this time. No, it won't. So what you'll notice is on our sketch, if I hide everything else, that's all we've got. So we've just got the construction line and this line on the outside. But when you look at it on the flag, you know, you can still see your lines on the outside. What happens if I want to use that line? Well, there's an actual command called use. So it's this square up here, this cube, but it's hard to tell in amongst all that stuff. So if you ever want to find something, you know the name, but you don't know where to find it, click up here, search tools, just type whatever it is you want, and it'll come up. We're just going use, and we're going to click on that line. We're going to click on this line too down the bottom. So now it knows we're going to use those lines in our sketch. So if I press escape, so yeah, don't redraw that in your new sketch, just use it from your old one. So if I get rid of this, you can see that the lines are there now. All right, we are going to use a fillet. We're going to click on the top and on this one, it's got a radius of one. Um, oh, let's just go 1.5 to be different. Yeah, that'll do. And we're going to accept that. Hit escape. Now we're going to mirror what we've just done. A mirror line. This one. Entities. These two. Um, and we've done that. Fantastic. What we might do is just put a couple of shapes in here. You've got a bit... You can put something different in here. I'm just going to... What am I going to do? Um, no, I'll just draw a construction line somewhere. What's going to look half decent? Yeah, that. And I'm going to put a circle. I'm just going to put a circle in here. Okay, and I may as well make it something even, 22. Okay, um, it's not constrained. What is this distance? Down here it says 40. So I could easily just come in um, and just dimension it. So go from there to there and make it. <laughs> Look how close it is 20. <laughs> All right, and now it's happy. Um, you could also try and use midpoint or something like that too. I'll just make it 20 just for now. All right, finish with that, click the sketch. Now we're gonna do an extrude. We're gonna extrude this bit out here. We're actually gonna remove it, so click remove. Remember, it's pretty poor form just to send it out there. So up to face, click on the back. Um, you can also merge with all. So that will go through any part, merge with all. Um, and we'll just click a tick there. And so we've got that. I want to bring that sketch in. And I want to go extrude this one here. Remove. We're just going to go... 
what is this whole thing? Three. So we're just going to go 1.5 and click the thing. So you can see the circle. It's just, um, I'd say, rebated in. So it's just, it's not a hole. It's just put in, but not the whole distance. All right, I'm doing this for something tricky I'm going to do in a second. Once you've done that, let's get rid of that sketch, bring all our parts back. Fantastic. Isometric. So I've got my flagpole here and all my stuff. Um, well done. If you want to, you can come down here and shell this out. So get rid of that first sketch. Um, click on shell down here. Uh, four is probably about right. Yeah, that'll do. You can shell that out because, I mean, the Lego ones, we could actually look it up and you could print one of these, but just for now, it's just for learning how to draw a card. A few things that we can do here, okay? We can come up here and actually change these colors. So if you click the appearance panel, okay, and I want to, can I just do it here? Yeah, click the flag, click this color here, double click. And I want red. Um, you can use the mixer too if you really want a color or you can look up on the internet and chuck the hex code in. But I'm just gonna use my basic colors here. I'm gonna use red. Uh, actually, no, I'll use blue. Blue, dark blue. Uh, was that the, oh, that was the color it was originally. All right, I'll use red. Um, I can change the color of the cap. Uh, what do I want? Dark gray. Yep, and this one down here, dark as well. So it's like a black. And now, if I want to change the color of that circle, just hope this works, click on the circle, and up the top here, click this little button that says add face appearance and now this is going to be blue you can also click say here um, here and then click the add face appearance too I'm going to make this yellow and it's a different looking flag um, you can change obviously the top face too so all of that you could change. You could make it whatever you want it to be. If I scroll in, there we go. And then you can change it on the back as well. But that's how you sort of change appearances. Another thing that you can do, um, so we've got our flag here, is come up here and go to shaded without edges. Can you see all these black lines here? So if you want to get rid of that, you want to make it look a little bit more lifelike, you can. Um, you just click shaded without edges and you see the black lines are gone. And you can also go to um, turn perspective on. So this is making the further bits that are further away um, smaller and the bits that are closer larger so if you can kind of see it sort of looks like you're looking at more if you were looking from the top of this flagpole down or maybe more correctly if you were standing at the bottom although it's hard to sort of get a good picture of it yeah you can have a play around with that too when i'm drawing obviously i like to go shaded because i like to see all the lines and i turn the perspective off so everything's the same size but if you wanted to show someone, um, you can definitely do it like that. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.